Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website, which is eight self improvement lessons. <clears throat> Lesson four has to do with relationships, including marriage and divorce. I've been a professional family systems therapist for 31 years. I've done a lot of research, went to a lot of classes, have many people teach me what they've come to know. I've had well over a thousand clients, hundreds and hundreds of couples. What I'm about to say uh, may surprise you because I want to focus on dispelling some myths about a post-divorce condition that gets a lot of press called PAS or Parental Alienation Syndrome. Sometimes it is called malicious mother syndrome. The theme of it is, uh, in the context of two divorced parents, where often a mother has custody of one or more minor kids, <clears throat> the uh, other parent, the father or the other parent, whichever, uh, claims that their ex-spouse is intentionally and maliciously poisoning the mind of their child against them, the victim parent. There's a persecutor parent and a victim parent. There are many, many variations. The theme, however, is that the custodial parent is a mean-spirited, bitter, angry, malicious, uh, evil person who is working intentionally, slyly, or covertly, or overtly, and denies or belligerently says she has no choice or whatever, loudly proclaims she's okay, the other parent, usually the dad, is not okay, the dad is molesting the kids, makes up lots of accusations flying back and forth. This polarizes everybody in the family, it polarizes mental health professionals, if any are on the scene, it often involves court battles over child custody, child visitation, money, uh, that adds to the complexity and usually fans and amplifies the bitterness and the accusations and the conflict between the two divorced parents. It's a mess, it's a chaos, and frequently people throw their hands up in the air because the supposed parent who's alienating the child is intractable, is rigid, is beyond reasoning, um, is constantly defensive and accusatory and aggressive, and there's no reaching her or him. So it's a mess. Well-hearted uh, people try to step into a family like this and make it better. In my experience, as a seasoned veteran therapist, often they're shooting at the wrong target and they fail. What is the real target? When there is sustained hostility between divorced parents, divorced people, but especially parents, and the child becomes a bargaining chip uh, between them or uh, a weapon. That always, underline always, underlines that each parent is what I call a grown wounded child. They suffered major trauma in their respective childhoods. They grew a group of psychological wounds that they're unaware of and they don't want to be aware of them. They're, even if they are aware of them, they don't know what to do about them. They are psychologically wounded, usually shame-based and fear-based, with a lot of repressed anger and frustration, often displaced from one of their parents. And secondly, they don't know how to problem-solve and communicate. So they wind up accusing and blaming and withholding and distorting the truth, doing many other things than effective communication. The child complains, other people get involved, that aggravates the situation. The point of my video here is, if you are in such a situation, or you're trying to help somebody in such a situation, do not focus on the angry or hostile parent's behavior. That is a symptom of the problem. The real problem is psychological wounds and an inability to communicate. If you want to find out more about this, I urge you 
read lesson one in my nonprofit website and or view the videos in lesson one and lesson four about grown wounded children and how to recover from psychological wounds. If you want to do the full job, study lesson two, which will show you how to problem solve. People need to be ruled by their true selves first before they can do problem solving and stop hurting their kids. So I hope if you're interested in PAS, parental alienation syndrome, you'll consider this and study the materials I suggest and widen your point of view. Otherwise, you're wasting your time and you're amplifying the hurt and trauma in everyone's life.